Hello and welcome to the Jordan Experience Podcast. My name is Shore Jordan, and today I am joined by a very special guest, Seth Young. Seth, thank you for coming on. I'm honored. Uh, today we are going to continue the, a, the Senior Reflection Series that I started last year, if you recall. I only got through three of those, but now we have a whole year to do them, and it's people in my grade, so hopefully it's, uh, we can have some, some legit conversations here. So... If you're not familiar with the with the structure, we're just giving seniors who are on their way out uh, a chance to kind of reflect over their years in high school and kind of look back on the community. Because some people may, you know, might be leaving the community for good, and some people might be sticking around. So, just giving people a chance to kind of talk about what's going on. So, let's get started with our first question. Your best uh, moment or memory, really? in your high school, you know, career so far. It doesn't have to be in school. It doesn't have to, you know, obviously we still have a lot of senior year left to go, but just, you know, so a memorable moment out of high school. So it be broad. It and, can, yeah, um, it can. It, it's kind of like any moment where I have, like, a group of people that I'm just cool with and we all kind of just go do things. That's just fun to me. You just remember, like, the moments where you're kind of like just hanging out. Like, two, we, like yeah, us. Two weeks ago, right. like, or was it a week ago at this point? I think Doesn't, it was, yeah, it was a Thursday. It was Thursday, yeah. It was just fun. Mm. We all went out and we just had fun. That's just, I really enjoy those moments. And more recently, I've started doing that more often, and that's just really fun, and I would like to be able to do that as much as I can. And outside of high school, too, I think. Well, for sure. Because that's that's a great great fear is as soon as you graduate, everybody that you're cool with and and friends with is just like, disappears. And I hope that's not true for me, at least. That is a scary reality. Yeah. 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 These are, are, you're you're my boys, man. For Uh, real, yeah. I would agree with that too. I think that I'll, I'm going to miss the whole, it, whether it's outside or in school, and we can just get a get a group together and we, you know, have a riot. That's it, I completely agree with you. So kind of a similar question, but we're tacking on a little bit more. A highlight, like a specific moment, a highlight, and then a specific low light. Obviously, if it's like, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, on yeah, the low yeah. Light. I get it. I get it. This is kind of a tough with the highlights. I again specific moments, especially when put on the spot like this, it's hard to just. You can be that guy that's like, I n- I'll never do that. Oh uh, yeah, I, n- I never I don't have, have a single any... highlight. Yeah, my life is horrible. I don't have any highlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a uh, um, cop out of the same answer as last time. I really like when I'm with friends and do stuff. You, like, a, like even just like, a, have you? Did you go to like um, anything after school? Did you, is there like a, was there a specific? You know, I don't know, even a class or a moment in class that you'll just remember for the experience. Whenever I'm in Mr. Bragg's class, goes hard. You like Mr. Bragg Mr. Bragg is really funny. He's really funny. And you can just be, like, pretty goofy in his class, and he will totally just carry on with you. He, he gets can, a sense of humor, he doesn't gets, he? Yeah, he gets it, and he'll just, he'll just keep going with it. Like, and throughout the whole bell? Yeah. That's Like, fun. it will literally carry on. That's fun. And that is really fun. So I, I think that the highlight is um, teachers that – don't take themselves too seriously and yeah. they're able to kind of just lay back and have fun once in a while. Those, are, those people are really fun, and I really enjoy that. And I remember that. And when I look back on high school, I hope I remember those figures that were just more laid back, I guess would be the word. That's a good example. I like that a lot. And a low light. Mm-hmm. A low light. Okay. Man, a low light kind of tough that is tough i mean if you can't think of a specific one we can we can move past it in, okay in general a low light is uh i just i'm just gonna go very broad again with because i despise waking up in the morning i know that's like a very like yeah traditional thing yeah. but i get horrible sleep on school days traditionally and i am always exhausted so I have bouts of like awareness where I'm like really awake throughout the day, and then I have bouts of just like I want to sleep and I will do whatever it is. I usually I don't sleep in class traditionally, but um, when I sometimes get really tired, it, get bad. It, it gets bad yeah. sometimes. Right? I'm, I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. So you're not gonna miss having to wake up at six for real. Yeah. Well, like that that'll kind of relate to a future question because I know you won't be wanting to, you know, go into a career where you got to wake up at six a.m. and well, my problem is I don't get used to it. I oh, never, like, try to adapt to it. If anything, I still try what to, What if like, you, like, loved what you were doing? Yeah, like... I think it would be different. I've had mild thoughts of being a school teacher, because I think that sounds like an entertaining career, but I, I don't... You could be the next Mr. Bragg. could be the next Mr. Bragg, for sure. Legend. 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 Um, fair enough. I mean, nobody likes getting waking up early. You know, it's it can be it can be rough, especially after some, some late nights on Apex Legends. Oh, yeah, on Apex Legends. 
with Troy Jordan. Yeah, oh, I'm actually really good at the game. Yeah, guys. The I promise. Um, okay, something you'll remember about Ghost, and it doesn't have to be the school; it can be the community, but just something you'll, you know. Uh, well, let me ask this first: Do you plan on sticking around in the area, or are you like, you know, gonna leave and, and go do something else? Um, I probably won't stick around for too too long, but I would. I'll probably stick around for a bit just to kind of get my bearings. Yeah, depends. I'm still relatively unsure what Young I'm adult. planning on doing. Yeah, yeah so. I probably will stay here. I'll probably let my mom and dad for a little bit. Right. Just because, just to again, get my bearings and set. But I probably will leave Goshen. So that being said, what's something that you'll remember? Like I said, it doesn't have to be from the school. It could be just from generally in the community, something you'll remember about Goshen. My answer is just keep connecting. I want to remember the teachers because I think there are a handful of outstanding examples. There's some great people here. There is. And I would like to remember them for sure. Could you give me like a, like a well, we don't want to, Pick favorites and make I'll people mad. But could you give me like a I don't know what's like a fair number like a three like a three? Like a top I'd three probably list. go Grimmett, Bragg, and Baker. If he's not here anymore, unfortunately, he yeah. went to Milford. But just replace Baker with Tomlin. That's that's just that's a good starting three, for sure. I have a lot of respect is, for those guys. Grimmett is honestly my favorite. I can't lie. I've, I've I haven't had her so far, but I've heard she's ve- she's I've heard very good things. Literally, about my her. favorite person in the world. I mean, to be fair, I've heard. I've I've heard good things about just about every teacher. But yeah, literally. I mean, they've got a pretty good. I mean, you know, compared to everywhere else, we've got a very strong, you know, setup as yeah, far str- as that. Strong lineup. For exactly. Sure. Um, so we'll, we'll remember the teachers. I'll, uh, fair enough. That's it's. Um, you know, fair enough. So kind of segueing a little bit from that, what is next for you after graduation? Is it? I mean, is it college? Is it? straight to career is it i mean you, what do you, what do you what do you have going on now and what do you think you're going to be doing you know even just immediately after graduation what's the next step so i'm i'm half and half on college as like a whole like i know there's a lot of cons and a lot of pros to it that i'm like still kind of like trying to weigh in my head and whether i want to go into certain careers or fields like in general i'm really interested in um anthropology or like psychology like study of humans and people i think that sounds really fun sociology i think that sounds like something i could really get into but i don't know how careers for that are so yeah I beats me yeah literally so i have no clue i like the idea of that a lot so i, I not too certain you would, be, would probably have to go to college for that yeah though. for sure i college would totally be for that or i could see general. you being a professor that'd be fun uh, the the uh professor or even just like a high level teacher I I like that. I'll take that. I would that. take that class. You can take, you know, that you would. <laughs> um, so, you know, what about just even out, let's say, outside of just planning out for college, what in the next, in the three months after graduation, do you have any anything special kind of planned, or is it just graduate and here, here I am, I made it? I think that's it right now, but I would like to have some cool little, like, thing I have, like, I don't know. As you segue into the uh, yeah. adult life or something, yeah. Some cool that'd be, vacation that'd be awesome. trip with the with the boys or the something. Boys, yeah. Going to Europe, road trip, yeah. Never being found in France, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going off grid, yeah, off the grid. Um, fair enough. I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's um, a little too. I mean, it's only September what thirteenth right yeah. now. It's a little too early to be calling the shots on what's going to happen in May and into the summer after graduation, but you know we're just kind of. You know, getting a feel for it, I yeah, guess. But, you know, we'll get there. Uh, and last up, a question that I'm sure, you know, will come up. And, and you know, it's it's just common. But I think it's a fair and I think it's a valuable question. What is a piece of advice that you, Seth Young, can give to the next class, or even this class because it's the beginning of the year, advice to freshmen? Stay being goofy. Don't stop being yourself and um, keep that keep that like lively spirit going. Positive energy, sort of. And thing. positive. Funnel it towards. Po- I mean, you don't yeah, want to be like. Yeah, a, you don't want to be. You don't want to be that. You don't be Debbie Down. Yeah. But you know, just in general, don't let the reputation that freshmen are the worst people ever deter you from just kind of chilling. But be you know yeah, be you yourself. Know, be yourself. Yeah, just keep be, it real. Be a cool individual. Don't be afraid to. Like what you like. Yeah, for sure. That's really good advice. That's great advice. Um, actually, I don't mean to, like, dog on you, but I kind of expected, like, a, I don't know, something less sincere than that. That was really good. <laughs> That's, like, like 
uh, fair enough, man, because I don't think these guys, especially the freshman class, they don't hear that enough because it's all just, oh, my gosh, yeah, freshman, I don't like oh freshmen. Oh, my gosh, yeah, worst people ever. It's and like, you're you... just setting them up for failure because yeah, they have four years of this to, to go. And so to hear that, it's I think that's a wonderful thing to say. Well, so I you. think, you know, I appreciate hearing you say that. I'm sure other people appreciate hearing, hearing you say that. That's just that's just good. Um, but that's all the questions I have. Thank you for coming on. You're actually our first guest. I forgot to say this at the beginning. First guest of the, what is it, 2022-23 school year. So thank you for coming on. I'm sure I'm going to ask you to come back because you're very, I think you're very funny. Your entertainment value for me and for everybody else. It's just I love talking to you, man. And um, I look forward to a good school year. we still got a long way to go and uh, hoping to get some more senior reflections out. But even, you know, because we just did one of these, um, we can get you back for some more content. How about how? How do you how do you feel about that? I'd be honored. It's always I'd, fun I'd to be, be honored here. to have you, dude. You're a legend. But uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for listening. Uh, and keep it real. Keep it safe. Have a good night.